welcome to chemistry lover and in this video series we are talking about acidity and basicity in the first part of this series i discussed about the general idea about acidity and basicity and which factors the acidity of a molecule depend on and now in this video i will discuss about uh, the acidity in more detail so let's start our today's topic yeah so uh, if i talk about organic acids so I, we can classify organic acids into four classes so the first one is so the first one is the aliphatic acid aliphatic acid the second one is the aromatic acid and the third one is the phenols yeah so phenols are aromatic alcohols but they are acidic in nature and the fourth category is the acids the conjugate base of which are aromatic yeah so we can uh, say aromatic acids aromatic acids so in the first case this aromatic acid it talks about the carboxylic acids which are aromatic but in in this uh, segment the aromatic acid this is actually this means by so for example let's say we uh, you have given this one let's say you have given uh, this molecule right so i uh, let me draw it in proper way let's say you have given this cyclopentadiene okay so this proton is acidic in nature right this proton is acidic in nature you can deprotonate it with base and it will produce minus easily so if you compare a normal pentane cyclopentane and this thing this this one will be acidic compared to this one if you consider the pk of this proton it is very high around 40 to 43 something but this pk is low it is less than 20 right so you can easily deprotonate this proton with the help of base so why because the conjugate base in this case the conjugate base is aromatic in nature so we are talking about this thing aromatic acid right so now let us discuss this all these classes one by one so the first case is the aliphatic acids so aliphatic acids means the aliphatic carboxylic acid so the carboxylic acid group is c double o h this is the carboxylic acid group and any aliphatic compound which uh, contain this group we will uh, consider it as aliphatic carboxylic acids now if if, if you uh, want to know about the acidity of aliphatic carboxylic acid so basically the ma the main group is same for all cases but here this r group whatever will be there this r group will be varied and based on that the acidity will be changed for example let's say you consider this acetic acid and formic acid so you, you consider these two acetic acid and formic acid so in one case in case of acetic acid you have methyl group in case of formic acid you have hydrogen right now to compare the acidity of different aliphatic carboxylic acid which uh, point we have to note so in the previous video if you remember i told that the acidity of any molecule depends on three factors the first one is the bond strain that is the oh or in other case the so if i if we consider ah as an acid so the first factor uh, on which the acidity depend on is the bond strength of this ah bond the second factor is the electronegativity of a and the third factor is the stability of a minus now if we uh, want to compare the acidity of different aliphatic carboxylic acids so the first two points that is the bond strength age bond strength and the electronegativity of a will be same for all cases because in all cases we have this um, carboxylic acid group and this a is basically this oxygen so in all cases the electronegativity of a and the bond strength that is a age bond strength in this case oh bond strength is same so what we have to look into is the third factor that is the stability of the conjugate conjugate base right so in this case for acetic acid we will get the conjugate base as 
this carboxylate anion and in this case also the carboxylate anion but if you now look into the two carboxylate anion in one carboxylate anion we have this methyl group which is attached to this carbon in another case we have hydrogen is attached to this carbon now any anion will be destabilized if you have electron pushing group and methyl group we know it shows plus i effect right so in both cases the this part is same but in case of acetic acid because the methyl group is present so it will uh, push electron into a negatively charged species so this place is already negatively charged and now methyl group is pushing electron so it will destabilize the system whereas in this case you have hydrogen which neither push electron nor take electron so that's why there is no extra stabilization or destabilization so if you compare the acidity of acetic acid and formic acid formic acid will show higher acidity similarly if you put some more group let's say if you put ethyl group its acidity will decrease even because ethyl group is more stronger electron pushing group compared to methyl group so if you introduce any electron pushing group it will basically uh, reduce down the acidity of the molecule now what happens if we introduce some halogen let's say if you introduce some halogen x group what will be the case so in case of halogen you know halogen shows minus i effect and minus i effect means it will withdraw electron so from this negatively charged center now it will withdraw electron so you have this conjugate base and you have halogen over here so it will withdraw electron so this will stabilize the system and that's why the acidity will increase so if you put uh, halogens the acidity will increase now the extent on which uh, the extent that how much the acidity will increase that depends on which halogen you give so if you consider the electronegativity of halogens fluor fluorine is the most electronegative then chlorine then uh, bromine and then iodine and the acidity order will be same for fluoro substituted compound the acidity will be highest for chloro substituted compound the acidity will be slightly lower and for iodine it is least acidic in this series and similarly if you put more number of halogen atoms for example if you consider the acidity between this one let's say you have one fluoro substituent where whereas in other case you have all the three uh, three hydrogens are substituted by fluorine so then of course this this group will uh, show much uh, much higher electron withdrawing effect compared to this one and that's why this trifluoro substituted acid will be stronger acid so this is the general case that uh, so what we can conclude out of this is if we uh, consider the acidity of aliphatic carboxylic acids if we have electron donating group in the R, R part so this is the R group so we generally represent the aliphatic carboxylic acid group by this so this is our R group and if we introduce electron donating group by any means into this R group the acidity will in general reduce whereas if we put electron withdrawing group the acidity will increase so this is the summary of uh, aliphatic carboxylic acids now let us talk about aromatic acids so the second category is the aromatic uh, carboxylic acids yeah so aromatic carboxylic acid is same like aliphatic carboxylic acid but now the difference is this R group is AR group and AR means basically the simple ca simplest case would be, would be the benzoic acid. The benzoic acid is the simplest example of aromatic carboxylic acids. Now if we consider any aliphatic carboxylic acid like let's say acetic acid and if you compare it with benzoic acid, benzoic acid will show higher acidity. Why? Because again if you uh, go to the conjugate base so in this case the conjugate base will be this one right so this one now one thing is you cannot delocalize this electron directly into this benzene ring there is no option you cannot push electron like this to delocalize this uh, electron into this uh, aromatic ring so the aromatic ring is not directly involved in uh, in stabilizing the uh, negative charge but what you can do is you can have a residual uh, charge separation like this so let's say you have a charge separation like this so you just push this electron this side and this one this side so you put negative charge here and positive charge over here now you can see there is a residual charge separation okay uh, sorry o minus now you can see here you have negative charge and if you 
if you draw the delocalized structure what you will get so you will get like this so here you have negative charge now you can see this negative charge is close to a positive charge right and that will be a stabilizing situation similar type of hybrid structure is not possible for aliphatic acids and that's why in general aromatic acids are more acidic compared to uh, aliphatic acids similarly if you have any uh, conjugating group let's say you compare this uh, acetic acid with this uh, double bond uh, with uh, with this acid where this double bond is present so this is unsaturated acid so it will uh, it will sh show similar effect like an aromatic acid because it has this uh, double bond and in the in the conjugate base structure this double bond can show some residual charge separation like this negative positive so again it will be a stabilizing situation and that's why in general unsaturated carboxylic acids are more acidic compared to saturated aliphatic carboxylic acids right now you can you can tune the acidity of aromatic acids uh, in a very efficient way compared to aliphatic, aliphatic acid so in case of aliphatic acid if we uh, if you just remember that in case of aliphatic acid when we introduce some electron withdrawing group like halogens the acidity increases whereas if we uh, put electron donating group like alkyl substituents acidity decreases but the effect in, effect is not very uh, prominent the pk difference is very small but in case of aromatic acid you can tune the acidity in a very efficient way for example compare this benzoic acid so we have benzoic acid and it has certain pk value so i don't remember the pk values and i don't uh, suggest you also to remember the pk value because remembering some value or some uh, amount is not a big deal you can uh, get the information any from anywhere understanding the concept is more important right so it will have a certain pk value i don't remember the value and now you compare it with these two in one case we put ome group over here and in another case we put this nitro group over here nitro group over here so we have to compare the acidity between these three so this is let's say a this is b this is c so what will be the acidity order now this benzoic acid it will have certain amount of acidity it will have a certain pk value but now let us compare the stability of the conjugate base of these two so this will have the conjugate base this one and it will have the conjugate base this one now the meth OME group, methoxy group, it, be it basically exert the plus R effect, that is it push electron. So if it push elect, sorry, if it push electron, you will have a resonating structure like this. So I just draw it like a resonating hybrid, resonance hybrid. So you have negative charge over here and here you have this whereas for this molecule the nitro substituted one we can have similar uh, step similar kind of structure now in this case if i open up the structure of nitro it will be like this so we can have this kind of delocalization yeah so this is the delocalization which we will have here and this will introduce a positive charge over here now if you compare this one and this one you can see this is negative in both cases this part is negative but now in this case here you have residual negative charge whereas in this case here you have re residual positive charge so here the positive is near to negative which will be stabilizing because of coulombic attractive force whereas in this case the negative is near to negative which will be coulombic repulsive force and that's why it will, it will be a destabilizing situation so we can say that this a will be more acidic than c because the conjugate base of a is more stable now in case of benzene there is no stabilizing or destabilizing effect so 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 it will show 
acidity in between so the acidity order will be a will be highest acidic then b then c so this will be the acidity order so like this you can compare the acidity of different uh, aromatic acids so uh, basically what you understand is if we put electron withdrawing group like nitro uh, then the acidity will increase and if we put electron donating group like uh, methoxy group or let's say you put uh, this NH2 group over here it will show similar effect like uh, the methoxy because nitrogen also have lone pair and it can donate electron similarly if you put OH group over here it will have similar kind of thing so if you put OH so it can donate electron whereas if you put nitro group or if you put let's say halogen let's say chlorine so chlorine is basically it also donate electron by plus R effect but that plus R effect is very low why because the chlorine has very diffuse p orbital the 3p orbital is very much diffused right so its minus i effect is more dominant and that basically uh, stabilizes the conjugate base so halogen substituted acids are more acidic and uh, so the ex so another thing is if you introduce more number of nitro groups of course the acidity will increase more so let's say you have one nitro group compared to three nitro groups right so this three nitro group if you have all three nitro group it will make the system even more acidic right because all three nitrogen at nitro groups will um, will drag electron from the ring and that will in turn stabilize the conjugate base structure so this is the this is the summary of uh, acidity of the aromatic uh, aromatic carboxylic acids now let us talk about the third category that is the um, phenols the phenolic compounds so phenolic compounds in the previous video also i discussed that phenols are uh, more acidic compared to aliphatic alcohols why because the conjugate base of phenol that is the phenoxide anion this one you can you can have delocalization of this negative charge into the aromatic ring and that makes this phenol more acidic compared to aliphatic acids in case of aliphatic acid there is no such delocalization so that's why phenol is more acidic now you can again tune the acidity of phenol by introducing nitro groups or electron donating groups so you have normal phenol and let's say now you introduce one nitro group so what will be the case so in this case this will be your conjugate base right and now you have this nitro group so now you can see this negative charge can be directly delocalized into the nitro group right so the resonating structure will have this kind of structure yeah so you can see this negative charge on oxygen is directly stabilized it has a very very extensive resonance very extensive delocalization into this nitro group through this benzene ring so previously in case of uh, uh, carboxylic acids the aromatic carboxylic acid there was no direct conjugation but in case of phenol you have direct conjugation and that's why the effect of this nitro group is even more for phenol compared to carboxylic acid in case of carboxylic acid you didn't have the direct delocalization there you have residual charge separation and that basically stabilizes the molecule but in this case you have direct delocalization and this compound where you have three nitro groups all these three nitro group they can drag electron from the ring and this makes this molecule very acidic it is called picric acid it is given the name as acid so from that you can compare how much acidic it is it is a very strong acid because of the electron withdrawal from all these nitro groups so if you put nitro or other electron withdrawing groups if you, you can also put halogen uh, atoms that will also 
increase the acidity because it drag electron from the aromatic nucleus so if you introduce any electron withdrawing group it will basically increase the acidity of phenols but what happens if you uh, put the if you put the electron donating group like ome so in this case again so let's say this is the conjugate base and if you have ome group it will basically donate electron and that will create negative charge over here right so this negative charge so you can see these two negative charges are very close and that's why it is a very destabilizing situation so if you put uh, electron donating group like methoxy group or NH2 group they will basically reduce the acidity of the molecule right so electron withdrawing group will increase the acidity of the molecule electron with uh, donating group will reduce the acidity of the molecule and in this case the effect of these groups are much prominent compared to carboxylic acid because in this case there is a direct uh, conjugation there is a direct delocalization so this is about the acidity of uh, phenols yeah so now uh, let us talk about the fourth category that is uh, the acids the conjugate base of which are aromatic so the first example i have just given now in this case the question which comes in exam is like uh, they will they will give you some compounds like let's say they give you sorry they give you this type of structures um, this one a and another structure let's say uh, this one b and you have to say which one is more acidic right so in this case if you take electro uh, proton you will have this anion whereas in this case if you take proton you will have this anion now this is a six electron system that is 4n plus 2 pi electron system whereas this is 4n electron system so 4n electron system is anti aromatic so it will be reluctant to go to this side so it will not be acidic whereas this is acidic because it has this conjugate base is aromatic so of course a is much more acidic compared to b there will be there are many interesting uh, examples of this another example which i can discuss is this one so you have this um, yeah so this one and you have this thing yeah so here you may have given question like which proton is more acidic this proton or this proton right so if you take proton from here what you will get you will get this you have this minus charge over here whereas if you take proton from here from here you will get uh, something like this negative charge over here and you have this right so now this proton is also acidic because you can see this negative charge can be stabilized into this carbonyl group but here you can see this negative charge if you push like this this system become aromatic okay so this system become aromatic and the effect of aromatic stabilization is much higher compared to delocalization into this carbonyl group and that's why this proton is uh, more acidic compared to this proton so when you put base the base will first take proton from here and then from here because this one is more acidic so there are many examples many interesting examples on this particular topic which i will discuss in the next video but for now I, I want to discuss uh, one more interesting thing and that is the acidity of di acids so there are many di acids but uh, this di acid which is called the 
oxalic acid is more important so if you compare the acidity of oxalic acid and the acidity of let's say a normal acid like acetic acid so if you compare the pk value of these two the first so basically the oxalic acid will have two pk value because there are two uh, two protons which can be uh, deprotonated so it is a basically a dibasic acid because both of these protons are acidic so it will have two pk values pk1 and pk2 whereas uh, acetic acid will have only one pk value now if you compare the first pk value of oxalic acid and the pk value of um, uh, acidic acid you will see that the first pk value of oxalic acid is much lower compared to the pk value of acetic acid this suggests that oxalic acid is more acidic compared to uh, acetic acid why because after the after the deprotonation whatever conjugate base you will get so this is the conjugate base now in this case you can see the conjugate base will have a hydrogen bonding stabilization this kind of intramolecular hydrogen bonding stabilization so this intramolecular hydrogen bonding stabilization basically stabilizes this conjugate base whereas no such intramolecular hydrogen bonding is present in case of this acetate anion so that's why this is the first pk value is much more higher but the second pk value now you can expect the second pk value should be close to the pk value of acetic acid but it is not like that the second pk value is very much higher compared to the first pk value and it is even higher compared to the acetic acid why because now if you take another proton from the system you will basically do two things you are doing two things one is you are taking proton from a system which is already negatively charged so you are creating a di negative species which is by default a uh, unfavorable case and the second case is you are breaking a uh, an hydrogen bonding so in the first case there was uh, you, you are not so actually in the in the uh, uh, in the undissociated state also you have hydrogen bonding in the carboxylic uh, in the in the oxalic acid so if you draw it in this way you can see this hydrogen bonding is still present in the undissociated form and it persists in the conjugate base form so you are not destroying the hydrogen bonding by uh, taking proton in the first case but in the second case when you are taking this proton you are destroying the hydrogen bonding so two situation two factors one is the de destruction of this hydrogen bonding and because you are creating a di negative speci species this situation is not favorable so that's why the pk2 value is much higher compared to pk1 so this is one case and uh, regarding this another very interesting example is the acidity of uh, fumaric acid and maleic acid so this is called fumaric acid and this is called maleic acid okay sorry and maleic acid is so let's say the pk of fumaric acid is pk f and the pk of maleic acid is pk m and pk f is higher than pk m right so both are dicarboxylic acid number of carbon atoms the um, they are they are internal position all are basically almost same only the difference is one is cis another one is trans and because of that this malic acid is much more acidic compared to fumaric acid now why this is the case this is the case because in case of malic acid the conjugate base what you will get is this one right whereas in case of fumaric acid you will get sorry you will get the conjugate base this one right so i am talking about the first pk value so here what happens is that in this case you can see you, you have this hydrogen bonding 
stabilization so this hydrogen bonding stabilizes the conjugate base of the molecule conjugate base of this acid and that's why this uh, malic acid is more acidic compared to fumaric acid if i talk about the first pk value but now if we talk about the second pk value you can see in the second pk value you don't have to break any such hydrogen bonding from here but from here you have to break one hydrogen bonding and after the breaking of hydrogen bond you have the two negatively charged group in the same side so there will be massive coulombic repulsion so the second pk value so this is about the first pk value pk1 whereas if i talk about now the second pk value pk a f2 and pk a a uh, sorry m2 so then what will be the case it will be pk m will will be more compared to pk f so that is the second pk value of malic acid is higher compared to the second pk value of fumaric acid because the second proton of malic acid is less acidic compared to fumaric acid so here i will finish today's video i hope that you enjoyed the video if you like the video give a thumbs up share this video with your friends and if you uh, didn't subscribe this channel yet subscribe this channel thank you for watching